here is the perfect guide for recycling kimono shopping in Japan. Welcome to Suzy's Discover Japan! Thank you so much for all the reactions and comments on my last kimono shopping video in Asakusa. I received comments like, More kimono shopping video, please! And, I'm going to Japan next month and I want to buy kimono! It made me realize that there is a lot of interest in this topic. So I decided to shoot another video. This time, I revisited the kimono shop with some friends, combining with a New Year's Shrine visit. Hi everyone, I'm Suzy, your travel navigator in Japan. Today, I am again in Asakusa. I run Kimono Community, which name is Sakaseru Kimono Club, and uh, the member is about 20 to 30 people, and uh, the members, they watched my previous YouTube video, and they said, oh, we'd love to go to that kimono shop. So this time, I decided to bring them to that store. <laughs> Today is January 7th and it's much more crowded than usual. Look at those people. Where are my friends? <laughs> wow! So it must be hard to take a picture with this kaminari mon oh no it's fine you can do that they are my friends in my kimono club first let's start with a visit to sensoji temple Japan's winter weather is different on the Pacific side and the Sea of Japan side. The region on the side facing the Pacific Ocean, we get a lot of sunny days and the air is super clear. So we often have those days with not a single cloud, just a blue sky like today. On the other hand, the region on the side of facing Japan Sea, they have lots of snow in winter. The inside is not too crowded. You can pray smoothly, there is no problem. Okay. That's good. <laughs> oh. So you cannot shoot the god inside, so shooting will be finished here. I'm gonna pose the camera here. And I will pray from now on. Next to the temple, there is a, sh a Sakusa shrine. And there's a long line. So we're gonna skip. There's a monkey. Always in a new year. It's a monkey show. As there were 10 of us, I had already made a reservation at this Italian restaurant. The food was decent with appetizers, pizza, dessert and coffee, costing about 4,000 yen per person. It wasn't exactly budget friendly, but the restaurant had a nice ambience. If you're looking for something a bit more sophisticated than typical street food, this might be a good choice. So, uh, this is my kimono club. Uh, every month <laughs> I organize this like a um, lunch party or like a going to see the flower or um, a theater event. And uh, 
if you go out with your friend who dress up normally and if only you dress up in kimono it's kind of like embarrassing but if all of us in kimono there's no problem so we love kimono we would like to make the uh, like opportunity to wear kimono and enjoy so this is my uh, life how to say life work i wanted to say kimono is an essential part of japanese culture and i love it not only for its significance, but also for its beauty. In today's modern lifestyle, opportunities to wear kimono are decreasing, so I intentionally create regular occasion to wear kimono. Mastering how to dress wearing kimono nicely requires practice, and even if you attend dressing class, consistent practice is key. I believe that regularly wearing kimono serves as the best ongoing practice. Personally, I initially learned the basics from YouTube and I highly recommend the Kimono Snow channel. You can find the link in the description below. Now let's go to the Kimono shop which we're here for today. This distinctive building you see is the recycled Kimono shop Tatsumi. It's easy to find in the corner and up there is a doll of Nezumi Kozo a notorious thief from the Edo period, who stole from wealthy merchants and distributed the wealth to the poor. There are numerous recycled kimono shops in Tokyo, but this one distinguishes itself with an outstanding collection of well-maintained kimonos at affordable prices, combined with easy accessibility. If you are a foreign traveler in searching for kimono souvenir, I highly recommend this shop. This not sponsored, <laughs> I just came across this shop on my previous shooting and I liked it. Additionally, there is another my favorite recycling kimono shop in Tsurumi near Yokohama. And the price is super super cheap. I might feature that store in the future if there are any requests. Please let me know if you are interested in. From here to there. Two stores are full of kimono. Let me share the connection between us and kimonos, along with the background of the recycled kimono market. Firstly, my grandmother's generation used to live a life where they wore kimonos when they were young. Western-style clothing was considered modern and expensive, and not everyone could afford it. They transitioned to more comfortable Western clothing in Middle Age or later. On the other hand, my mother's generation grew up wearing Western clothing from childhood. However, for special occasions, they often wore kimonos, and it was common for them to order tailor-made kimono as part of their dowry for marriage. The status symbol was how many kimonos they could bring when they get married. So, many people in that generation own several kimonos. But, with the change in lifestyle, many found themselves not wearing kimonos very often. People inherited kimonos from their mothers, but with no occasion to wear them, they faced storage issues in smoke houses in Japan. As a result, a large number of old kimonos flooded the recycling market. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, many people engaged in decluttering, leading a surplus of recycled kimonos in the market. This surplus has driven price down, and you can now purchase kimonos from a few decades ago in almost new condition for very reasonable prices. This is the current background for why recycled kimonos are so affordable. In my generation, making kimonos for the coming-of-age ceremony when we were 20 was common. However, owing just one or two is typical. For my daughter's generation, who is in 20s, the coming-of-age day remains a significant occasion still, but many people chose to rent kimonos only for that day rather than purchasing. Now we can see the trends are changing. The price of recycled kimonos are determined depending on the condition, quality, and formality. But the shop is quite spacious. It might be confusing at first, so I'll give you a general idea of where different ranks and price ranges are usually displayed. 
This is not specific to this store, but is a common practice in many stores. The cheapest are the kimonos from the grandma's generations, showing signs of aging and wear. Condition B to C, priced around 1,000 to 5,000 yen. These are the budget-friendly items displayed outside. Next, we have kimonos from the mother's generations, showing some signs of use, usually rated as condition B. These are displayed on hangers and the price range from 5,000 to 15,000 yen. These are suitable for casual wear. If you want better condition kimonos, suitable for someone who knows how to wear them and has the intention to continue doing so, these are typically displayed folded on shelves. Priced around 15,000 to 50,000 yen, you can find casual kimonos or mid-range quality kimonos. For those who want brand new or high quality items, priced over 50,000 yen and rated condition A or higher. Some kimonos use rare techniques or are unique pieces crafted by artists making them valued at over 100,000 yen, even their recycled one. Considering the retail price, this is a great deal. If you buy them at the tailor-made shop, the new one, it would cost 10 times more. If you're buying as a souvenir or for the decorative purposes, option 1 or 2 would be more suitable. For casual wear or occasional use, these are more than enough. By the way, these are nagaju bands, an under kimono garment, and you cannot go out wearing it alone, however, you can use it as a robe at home, making it an excellent souvenir. Since the size doesn't matter when using it as a robe, it's a great choice. I introduced it in my previous video and this shop is unique for offering brand new silk nagajuban for under 5,000 yen. If you know how to wear a kimono like us and plan to wear it yourself, size becomes crucial. It's important to note that recycled kimonos may not always fit perfectly. Please consult with the staff to ensure the kimono is the right size for you. Trying on the kimono can significantly change your impression compared to just holding it against your face, so I strongly recommend you trying it on before purchasing. Did you notice that the difference in style between the rental kimonos for tourists and the kimonos we are wearing? They are quite different in style. Rental kimono shops often stock bright and cheerful colors which are preferred by foreigners. Most of them are made of lightweight, washable polyester or layer materials, not heavy, genuine silk like ours. If you want this type of light washable kimono, it's better to visit souvenir shop at airport or other tourist spots. Also, these modern synthetic kimonos like the ones young girls are wearing are not typically found in the recycled kimono shops, obviously. You can find similar ones on online platforms like Amazon for around 10,000 to 20,000 yen. It's a silk kimono. Ah, beautiful. It was quite reasonable. 1,000 yen? It was. Mm, not big. <laughs> Oh, so, uh, where, sorry, where are you from? Uh, Italy. Italy, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you, bye. Where are you from? Italy. Italy? Italia, si. How long is this trip? Uh, just finished. Uh, tomorrow we are going to leave and come back home. Where did then, you go? Uh, to Osaka, Kyoto. Uh, Akone and Akone? then Tokyo. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I like uh, the design. Uh, I like the, you know, the the, the texture, the the silk. Uh, okay. it's, uh, so it's y you will not dress up like no, I, I, way. no. I think it's not really my my style. Uh -huh. So I think it let it open and dress with the shirts. Uh, yeah. It's like and a jacket. Uh, yeah, it's like a jacket. It's, it's yeah, really yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Like, like uh, this kind of short things, right? Yeah, the short one. This yeah. one. The ano Anori. It's the name. Howdy. Uh, Howdy. Howdy. Yeah. Howdy. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. And how did you find this store? Uh, this is my favorite. Walking around. <laughs> <laughs> walking around. Yeah, just walking. Okay, good. Thank you. There are so many recycled kimono shop, but this store yeah, is quite they are reasonable, very nice. and the staff is very friendly. And they mm -hmm. have lots of uh, inventory stock, and that's why I brought my friends. Okay. Yeah. Nice. nice. Thank you. <laughs> the male shop owner is using the haori as a substitute for a jacket. He mentioned that he cut the sleeves for ease of movement. What a fantastic and stylish way to wear it! These are bridal kimonos. Even though they are on hungers, they are high-end pieces with higher price tags. They are perfect for display on the wall. By the way, the kimono I'm wearing today is called soshibori, a dyeing technique where each pattern is tied by hand using the dye dye technique. It requires advanced skills, making soshibori kimonos high end and highly valued. I inherited it from one of my friends. I didn't expect to buy that much, but it was so good. So I made my favorite kimono, so that's why I bought it. Yay! The staff's recommendation skills were excellent, and we had a very satisfying shopping experience. Unfortunately, they are not fluent in English, so if you want to discuss details, using a translation app would be a good idea. Hi! Dima, dima, mata! See you!